Hey y'all, you have stumbled upon the McCripple channel where I am the resident cripple or the cripple titular, if you will, JP McFarlane or Jess McFarlane. Half my family and friends call me JP, the other half call me Jess, and I can never choose because I'm a crazy Gemini, so you do it. Have you ever met a sane Gemini? No, no, you haven't. No one has. So, anyway, over this past summer of 2020, on June 19th, I celebrated my 35th birthday, which is why I have so many lines in my forehead. And it was also the 15th anniversary when I died. Okay, well, almost died. My parents were never told that I was ever officially, like, pronounced dead or anything, but for the past 15 years, I always think, whenever I think about when I got hurt, I always think when I died. I never say it out loud because I stop myself, but... For some reason, over the past 15 years, I've always thought when I died instead of when I got hurt. And that's very fitting of how I feel about my two different lives. There were the first 19 years where I lived a very protected, insulated, fairly easy and almost ideal childhood, although we did see hard times. We lost everything twice, which I'm sure I'll get to in due time. So, about 15 and a half years ago, on the morning of June 19th, 2005, when my parents got the call that I had been life flighted to Memorial Hermann Hospital in Houston, we were moving out of our dream home, which we had rebuilt years before. And we were losing the home because, as I mentioned, this was the second time we lost everything. We left that house on the morning of June 18th to go spend the night hanging out with my big sister, Terry. That night turned into the next day, which was my 20th birthday and was also Father's Day that year. And being awake and hanging out with Terry wound up saving my life, although it unfortunately scarred Terry for life. But if I had been at home and asleep in my bed with my cat Bucky, I would be dead for 15 and a half years now. Still... The life I've lived since awaking from a two-week level three coma has been a far cry from the girl who lived to dance her dirt bike through the trees and the woods and who had been training to become a race car driver up until the past couple of years before the shitstorm. I woke up no longer able to walk, much less do any of the things that I love doing, things that my identity were wrapped up in, and speaking of identity, when I woke up, my long blonde hair was gone, which you ladies will understand how devastating that is. In the house? What house? Mom was living with me in the hospital, and Daddy and the pugs were living with friends. My cat Bucky lived out his years spoiled, absolutely rotten with my brother and my sister-in-law, and we were still really close up until he went to Rainbow Bridge a couple years ago, but... Losing him always really broke my heart. Our other cats lived with my nanny while we were homeless, and it's been a, been a pretty consistent roller coaster since then. My life has essentially been one long commitment to a bit gone horribly, horribly wrong. Since I was a kid, one of my favorite lyrics has always been from the Tracy Lawrence song, Time Marches On. The only thing that stays the same is everything changes. And over recent years, I've heard many people saying all different versions of that fact of life, and I'm sure someone said it long before Tracy Lawrence, but it's very true. Everything changes. Find someone special to endure the changes with and learn to roll with the punches of life. And remember that everything's changing for everyone else too. God and learning to laugh at life's bullshit are what'll help you get through. I want this channel to be one that you leave feeling stronger, wiser, and happier than you might have been when you came. I want to use this platform to raise awareness and spread kindness and laugh at all the crazy shit that happens in the world today. Because if I hadn't learned to laugh at all the crap that's happened to me over the past 15 years, hell, over the past 20 years really, I would have checked out a long time ago. Laughing is the only way to get through the worst of life's shit shows without completely losing your mind. 
So we're going to laugh when we see stupid shit happen, and we're going to praise God when we see miracles. I'm going to talk about all sorts of stuff on this channel, starting with the lessons that I feel God let me learn and survive so I could share them with others. I've shared them for the past 15 years with the people in my own tiny corner of the world, and I know that the kids and my family and my circle of friends have certainly learned from where I went wrong and had to learn things the hard way. Now I want to expand that circle and tell more people. Some things you just won't learn until you're facing what could be the end of your life or you survive something traumatic or have a near-death experience and I really don't want y'all to have to go through that so I'm going to share with you some of the things I had to learn the hard way in the hopes of helping some people and perhaps even, even saving some of you from that same fate. Because I know the young years are really, really tough in many ways. Young kids face all sorts of stuff now. The stuff we faced has been magnified by the event of social media. We used to be able to get, get away from the bullies when we got home. At least the social troubles of school couldn't reach you when you were at home. Now the bullies can reach you at home. They can torment you at home. If you have a phone and social media, they can blow it up all hours of the night. Social problems can terrorize kids at all times now. And I'm sure I'll be doing videos relating to that subject very soon. For the foreseeable future, I will be making my next video about how I became a Mick Cripple, or technically a Mac Cripple, if you want to be really picky about it, but that just doesn't roll off the tongue quite as nicely. That will focus on brain aneurysms, spoiler alert, and their prevalence and preventability, and why I can no longer consider them rare, although the internet will tell you they are. After that, future videos will be on kindness and empathy and how desperately they're needed in this world. And also depression and suicidal ideations, which I have now been battling for more of my life than I didn't. And I hope that sharing my ongoing struggles with y'all will help some of you and help you to realize you're not alone and please to never give up. And I also want to talk about social media and bullying and the damage it can do to younger people and that kind of ties in with the kindness and empathy thing. But until next time, please stay strong and please show kindness everyone. You never know the personal struggle someone else is going through and how much your smile could help or how much a cruel word could hurt for that matter. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, it would be awesome if you'd press like and subscribe. That will help me a ton in growing this channel and expanding my audience, and I hope increase the chance that I could actually help someone. And please do feel free to share this if you think it could help someone. I'll appreciate it more than you know. Also, if I ever mention anything that you want me to talk more about or you have questions or anything, please do let me know in the comments. Until next time, I love y'all. Y'all come back.